Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today Kiki's not here. Um, she's in Miami and she'll be back next weekend. But I don't know if she'll be at my house or at her apartment. So anyway, we're going to be doing a chocolate banana milkshake that I kind of invented the recipe on my own. It's just a test to see, um, you know how like I can create a smoothie, I mean milkshake. Um, so anyway, so this DIY, uh, I when I was at Walmart, I noticed Whoppers, and I really like malt, malted milkshakes. So I decided to get some Whoppers, so to use it instead of malt, so just to see what would happen. And also, um, when, when I was at one of the workers at Panera, once told me that the trick to making a, a good banana smoothie is adding two bananas. And so I decided to use that trick in my milkshake to see how it would come out with two bananas. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment down below what your favorite milkshake flavor is, and I'll see you in the video. So the first thing we're going to put in is the Whoppers, and this is going to do, this is going to be a substitute for the malt, and you're going to put them all into the blender before you put any liquids in, so that it's a dry powder. You don't want it to be wet or anything. Then take some Ben & Jerry's Chunky Monkey Ice Cream, which is going to flavor it like banana um, alongside with fresh bananas. So just gonna plop that inside, and then we have some heavy whipping cream. This is used for pumpkin pie and other things, but this is going to be used as a thickening and milk. So you're just gonna pour that in, and then we have our two bananas, which we're going to just peel and put it in. Make sure you use the whole two bananas. So then we have some Nutella, and this is going to flavor it like chocolate, and also flavor it with chocolate will be the Chucky Monkey pieces from the chocolate pieces from Chucky Monkey, and we use about four spoonfuls of the Nutella. So then you're just going to blend up the whole entire mixture. Uh, make sure that you get all the Chucky Monkey pieces. Um, well blended and the whole thing is a liquid. So now you're just going to want to take the top off the blender and you're going to want to pour yourself a glass of the smoothie. So I taste a lot of the banana, and I'm getting pieces of the um, chocolate pieces from the Chunky Monkey ice cream, and that actually gives it a little bit of crunch, which I really like, and also from the nuts too. Tastes a lot of the Whopper, the malt from the Whopper, and a lot of the pieces of chocolate, which tastes really good. Um, I like the chocolatey banana taste. So, this was a really fun DIY. It tastes pretty good. I would recommend making it because it tastes really good. Um, so remember to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below what other things I should put into milkshakes. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!